Good morning, man. Um, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 34. Though he scoffs at the scoffers, yet he gives grace to the afflicted. Um, the way that I ended up here at the Master Seminary, I come from a very um, rough background. Um, come from a single parent home. Uh, my mother was very religious in many regards. Um, I grew up in a very legalistic, legalistic household where I really didn't like Christianity at all. Um, we were in church four to five days out of the week. Um, and I knew that uh, a call to ministry uh, just was not for me. Um, as I got as I grew older, um, what I came to understand is that God had blessed me with athletic abilities. Um, athletic abilities, according to my teachers, was my way out. Um, and as I say this, I'm reminded of five words that I'll echo again at the end. But since I only have five minutes, I have these five words. And the five words that I have for you men is get low and stay low. Get low and stay low. And what I mean by that is because if I can give you guys a cultural context by which I understand those words is it said get down or lay down. And what, what's meant by that is that you can choose to either humble yourself or you can be humbled. And the better option is to choose to humble yourself because as a believer, if you don't choose to humble yourself, God will humble you. So with those words, I want you men to understand here in seminary, um, it, it was a long road for me to get here in the first place. But here while in seminary, the Lord has indeed humbled me coming from an athletic background. Many people exalt you and they build you up. They puff you up. They, they, they talk good about you all the time. You never really know what anybody really feels or really thinks about you. It's going to be the same way in pastoral ministry. People are going to lift you up. You have all the answers, pastor. You're the person that we're looking to. Get low and stay low. God gives grace to the afflicted. He gives grace to the humble. He gives grace to those who choose to humble themselves. Humble yourselves while you're here in seminary, because if you don't do it here, you're probably not going to do it out of ministry. I know Ray tells us a lot about kind of what we have uh, as far as kind of the, uh, a thing for Master Seminary uh, graduates. And I know myself, I was experiencing that while I was here, where it's just like I was getting so much knowledge. And I'm just like, oh, and that's wrong and that's wrong and that's wrong. And I wasn't showing that that love uh, that needs to come with uh, that knowledge. And the Lord has humbled me and the Lord has afflicted me while here in seminary. Um, as it pertains to future ministry, um, there are many opportunities that um, have indeed come my way. Um, but I'm not jumping on anything to say yes so quickly to anything. But I really want to know that what I am doing, it is what the Lord will have for me to do. Um, and so with to you, gentlemen, I leave those same five words. Get low and stay low because the Lord he exalts those who humble themselves, but he turns away from those who are proud. So, gentlemen, please do not allow for knowledge to um, cause you to acknowledge yourself and to um, not abase yourself, but choose to stay low. Just choose to stay humble. Choose the low road. Because there's glorification in that low road. There is none in that high road. That so many um, are taken up by, because it doesn't it doesn't happen just without you choosing to abase yourself. But you have to choose to abase yourself because if you don't, you won't receive those lessons. It will hurt people in the process.